this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to lay out ports on different pieces of pipe. Now a port is a hole that goes in the side, another piece of pipe comes up. And I'll show you how to weld it up and stuff like that. I've got my, uh, stainless steel here, got some mild steel here. I'm going to try to find some aluminum too, but it's all pretty much the same theory. So when I lay out one, it goes the same for all types of the material. And uh, let me cut some of this down and uh, get everything set up and we'll lay out the, the spots for the ports and then we'll use our plasma cutter and we'll cut some holes. This is how I'm grinding it. And again, you got the bevel right through there. You don't have to do a lot. Take our other side. like that. Let's clean like that. So, now we got our bevel like that, so the two pieces will fit up like this. You got your bevel. Okay, now we got our pieces together here like that. We got our groove. So now sometimes you got to roll it around because it won't fit for you like that. You want to keep it nice and square all the way around through here. Okay, so it just goes nice and flush. So you got to find that, that happy spot with your grooves. I like that, it's pretty good. So we get our first tack. We get our first tack here. Just a little hot tack. Nothing bad. Okay, you roll it. Sure is good. A little hot tack like that. If you gotta tap it, you can tap it. Hit it a little bit. Just like that. Keep working your way around. Then that's how you get get it all nice and flush all the way around. Just like that. A lot 
Lots of times if you really want to get picky on it. Now this is what I'm going to be welding, right? Yeah, okay. go for it. Ready? Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just fusing it together. Just burning it enough so you know you're getting some good penetration. And then with fusing it here, you're not going dip, 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 dip. You're keeping a nice, clean, straight puddle so you know that seal will be good. So when you come back on the next bead, then you can go ahead and add the rod and build it up and then do the dip, dip, dip thing. And just keep going. About two inches at a time. Now rolling it over is okay. You have to anyway. Just remember where those little ports are because if you spin it around it'll hit the table and it kind of mess you up in your little you know, flow of things while you're doing. Just go nice and slow. Okay, I've come down to my last fusion all the way across. Now what I want to do for all the other ones that I did is on your stop and your start you want to come back about a quarter of an inch. That way you know you've got a seal on that. So I just run it right quick. And then you go past and you know that You've got a good seal. Okay, here's our pipe. All I did was fuse it right here. So what we're gonna do now is find out where I wanna put my little ports. And I'm going to put one on this side, I'm going to put one on this side. But they're not going to be in the same side. One's going to be here, and one's going to be over here. And we're going to change the degrees on that one. We're going to say, oh, I don't know, 30 degrees. How's that sound? Okay, so what we'll do is I'll show you over on our chalkboard or our pin board exactly how we're going to lay it out. And then I'll come back here, and I'll lay it out with our, our lab uh, equipment.